if you've seen me flush my water and winterize, you've seen that this thing <laughs> spurts all over this place. And um, I don't keep the hose attached to it because there's not enough room in here for it. So I'm going to change this out. And you're going to help. And Caesar's going to help. And we're going to put it into a, a better system. Let me show you. Hello, folks. We are just getting ready to uh, get packed up for the um, Northeast Region A-Liner Rally. And I thought I'd show you this, uh, this neat little thing that I'm going to install. One of my viewers told me that uh, they had installed this, and it's pretty neat. It's a uh, replaces your current shower, and it makes it so it flips out, and you don't have to try to store it all in there. So it's a pretty nice system. Uh, follow me along, and uh, let's. I'll show you how we're doing it. Okay, we took the dinette, which is normally the boys' bed, and we opened up this side, and there's, and there is. The shower right there and as you can see it's a pretty simple setup it's got a couple of hoses on it and you just unscrew those and that whole thing comes out and we put the new one in so let's see if we can do this on camera <laughs> the whole thing is just a couple of screws to undo and I think we're going to need a towel. Now this is, of course, the lowest point in the trailer as far as water goes. <laughs> so we'll put a towel or two down there to absorb the water. And the first thing we do is take off these guys. <laughs> and they just don't need any tools. They just come off by hand. I have the valve open outside so the water is draining out but there it comes out of the hose that water hose especially there we go let me take the bottom ones off Now these two little things are old and they're sticky and gummy and greasy and they only cost a few bucks so I think I'm going to replace those just for fun if I can find the exact same ones. Sometimes trailer stuff is different from regular plumbing. But now I'm going to take off these things. Taking off these, and that means the whole thing outside is going to fall out. Again, no tools, and the shower thing is ready to come out. So now we've unscrewed all this inside and this comes right out and there's the original shower head and I can put that aside to use later if I want to. We'll do a minor unboxing here. Let's see. I got too much sunshine out here. So this is the Dura faucet. It comes with a handle. Let's open the box. I got this off Amazon and if you look down in the description I'll put the link for it. It's got a nice a nice multi set shower head for all sorts of things. It's got a fairly long hose that uh, can be used and it's got the and it's got all this stuff. The 
the connectors and all the stuff, all the plumbing hardwares, and all the little things. So there are the gaskets and sockets and all that stuff. So so let's take it over and put it on. I hope you can hear me over all those birds. There's about a six million of them out here in the trees. This matches up perfectly with the original holes in the shower thing. It's got hot and cold <laughs> on the knobs, so I want to make sure I get those right, I guess. That stays there like that, and I go inside and put on the nuts. Yeah, the black ones that I'm going to use. I could use the old ones, I guess. But they got little washers, little washers to go with them. I'm going to take one black one, put the washer in there. And that's just raised up just a little bit. So it's a... Uh, and give me a nice tight squeeze. We'll put that on there. Okay, so there's one. Now I'll put in the other one, it'll be easier because it won't be wiggling the whole time. Nice, snug them up. Fairly good, but not not overly tight. And I put the old ones on there just in case I ever need them. <laughs> it's a good place to store parts. So now we got those two back on there, and now it's just to test it out, see how it works. Fill my tank up with water, and we're ready to go. Got to screw the nozzle on. Oops. All right, we put the hose all together. We put the hose all together. Now we're just going to press it in there. It's got little tabs on it. you got to put the little tab in the right spot, I guess. Got it all in there. Turn on the cold water. Turns on and off at will. Let's see what the different things are. Look at that. Wash the dog. Wash me. <laughs> Woo! Cool down the A liner. That's like just mist. Water the plants. Straight Supreme. This is the shower one. I guess they have names on them. Shower, cone, mist, shower, flat, soaker. Depending on how your pump water is, I guess. Jet. And shower again. That's nice. Get to take it off. Turn the water off, depressurize the thing, and just take it off. And it's ready to be put away and stored. And I want to knock the thing down and let all the water out. Actually, I guess the water's trapped in there because it is, it's definitely heavier than it was. But 
Water doesn't come out. Water doesn't come out with the handle on without it in there. So that can't leak. So that's a great improvement for the trailer. And it's quite a bit longer than the original. It goes way up. I'm liking that a lot. Thank you, Gina.